Look at all that hair. Look at all that hair. I served in the U.S. Army. I was a 25 uniform, which is a signal support specialist. I struggled tremendously. When I returned home from Iraq, I had um, a huge amount of, of symptoms that I didn't realize at the time, but were uh, PTSD related. Basically, the point that I got out of the military in 2011, all the way up until 2018 with opiate addiction, I was a full-blown heroin addict uh, for seven years. I had done rehab, had done therapy, and everything that the VA had offered. The main things that I experienced with PTSD, the symptoms, not wanting to go around people, closing myself off, uh, sweating, uh, panic attacks, uh, just l lack of awareness and kind of get lightheaded. It sounds stupid, but unless you've gone through it, it's really hard to explain it. It just, it's, think of your worst day and that's what it's like. Think of, you know, how you would feel uh, if all the cards were stacked against you and it's in that moment and it's just, you, you can be in a room full of people and feel all alone. My time in the military, I was in the U.S. Army. When I came in in 1997, I was a military policeman. I did that career all the way up, so I retired in 2017. I deployed to Afghanistan in 2012 to 2013. After my return from my deployment, it was my wife that pointed out that there was something wrong. I had tried everything I could, medications, therapy, family support, uh, group counseling, things like that, which was kind of what the norm was back in 2011. There wasn't a lot of information as far as veteran support goes. Uh, so we just, I did what I could. It certainly wasn't helping at the end of the day, but it was kind of putting a, a Band-Aid on a, a, a serious injury. It just it wasn't, it wasn't doing enough. It was just kind of keeping things back. Once I finally went and got a K-9, that's when the real change started. Hannah, it was a, she was a rescue. She was sponsored by a family, a couple. When I got her, she was already pre-trained and, and ready to go. So we just meshed, you know, as a team. Looking at the federal government, the United States Department of Veterans Affairs really didn't agree with what we were doing and didn't think there was scientific basis. So we had to go and get research. We had to get an entire lobbying team. We wrote our own legislation. And finally, this year, it passed. So crack the door open a little bit. It was really hard. It was very difficult to get through because the staff at the VA and the staff in Congress really didn't want to do this. And so we finally convinced them that we were right. Hannah was trained to distract me. She tends to like jump up and try to start licking me and she gets really closer. If anything, she's very subtle. She just puts her head on my lap and it just gives me an opportunity just to rub her, stroke her, and you know, just calm down. And she'll stay there for as long as I need. When you think of the name Henry, you think of Bougie Poodle. It fit him perfectly, and I don't think they changed it because of that. They're just kind of like, oh man, he is a Henry. He's life of the party, trying to have fun, trying to make people smile. Very similar to how I try to navigate life now. The dogs come from over 100 different shelters across the country, at least. Uh, we've been up to 200 rescue groups now. So they typically come from high kill shelters. We bring them down to our campuses here in Florida and Texas. We bring them back up to health and start a training process, which is about six to eight months. I mean, he can understand when I'm having a panic attack. He can understand when I'm having a nightmare. There's just, he has intuitions and things that we as humans just don't have. So he can sense stuff that's going on. Regular dogs might be able to sense, but they're not tuned to address it. Canines for Warriors gave me the people, places, and things that I needed for my recovery. And what Bobby does is, I don't know if you've heard the saying, you know, be the person your dog thinks you are. And I kind of took that and ran with it. If she and I are gonna have this brand new clean slate where we help each other through life, I realized I could be anything. She's given me that mentality. We're always here. I don't care what your issue is. If you've got a problem, you can reach out. We're here 24 seven and always interested in helping. If you've got a battle buddy in need, who needs a service dog, reach out for them because we'll be there for them too. It's like you have finally this Thing that you haven't had in years and and that's hope it's just magical that a program like this could introduce something into your life that gives you that type of hope for being able to to live a normal life again